Okay, I have things that drive me nuts, and I'm sure you do too, but can you gain muscle after 35, after 40, after 50, men and women? Answer me that. Comment now. I'm kidding. Seriously, you can. Of course you can. Yes. I'm 51 years old, and I have put on more muscle in in a better way, not just because of nutrition, but a thing called, or a process called progressive overload. Let's get into that right now. And I'm gonna keep it simple, very simple. Hit that like button, please, and subscribe. And if you are coming back, thank you. But if you are new, thank you as well and welcome. Because my job here, to me, I've had, I'm having a blast, by the way. If you can't see, <laughs> it's right now, but I'm, I'm, yes. But breaking this nonsense down, I see it more. I have a top 10, top 20, top 30 list of just nonsense that I try to be like, okay, let's bring this into the real world, right? And you can. You know, I get asked all the time at 51, how do I put on this muscle and keep it? I mean, you see some people out there that are famous, they're not gonna drop any names, but you get it that, you know, this is, this is how they do it. It's progressive overload. It's not about just doing one specific, you know, sticking to one specific routine. I jump out for I jump from workout weight resist resistance training workout to different resistance training workout. For instance, I did the rocks back workout. For, uh, for and I, I got it. I'm like wow, but I was I'm, I mean I was already into my program for like t 12 weeks. So I'm like okay, I'm gonna do this. And I did his back workout, and it back it was back and buys. If you want that, I have it, and it is amazing. But you gotta wait until you do what I'm about to show you. Let's pay attention to what progressive overload is. And if you already know, you can fast forward or just stay with me to the end because I'm gonna show you something great. <laughs> okay, take the squat as an example. Week one, three sets of 10 reps to 100 pounds. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple, Not nothing crazy. Week two, Incre increase the weight to 105, overload progressively, three sets, 10 reps, right? The same. Week three, keep the weight the same, increase the sets to four. Whoa, okay, now you're talking, now we're cooking, right? If you feel like raising it to 107, go ahead, progressive overload. If you can get to 10, great. The idea, we're not gonna get into the reps, and, but wait for it. Week four, increase the number of reps to 12. Keep the weight the same, possibly. You can increase two and a half pounds, let's say. And the sets, keep the sets the same, for instance, at four. Now, at week five, you may increase that to five sets. Now, would I go week six and then go six, seven, eight, nine weeks out and be doing nine sets? No. No, you don't. Have to, you can, but you don't have to do that. Increase the weight, increase the set, increase the reps. And one of the simplest things you can do that people miss out on all the time, every single time, when it comes to losing and not, is this the one focus? And I know I'm stretching this out on them because I really need you to pay attention to this. You can do all of this, but it's about the time between sets. I see more people running around this gym doing on this, on these head, on these ear, jacking with the earbuds, talking to everybody, which is fine, okay? Some of us go there for that. But listen, if you go for week one, for instance, and rest and focus on it, time it, rest two minutes between each rep, each set, not four minutes, not five, not ten. You will get out of the gym faster. You will overload your muscle with, and then watch. Week two, lower that to 90 seconds between each set. Whoa, you're jumping back in sooner, right? You're gonna be done with 10 reps, let's say. You're gonna jump right 90 seconds later, you're gonna be right back into 10, right? Give your muscle just enough time to recover. And let's say you jump into week three and you're at 90 seconds. Whoa, okay, you're at 90 seconds between each rep, each set. You know, with that one, two, three, 
rep counts in between like that, right? But here, listen, that time that you wait is crucial at that time. And then let's say you, when you're done with squats, don't wait 20 minutes to go to leg. Let's say the next exercise is leg extension. No, five minutes at the most, maybe three. And I know I'm going to get some heat for this, but go do those leg extensions because the rest of your leg, for instance, is getting a rest. You're not working out your quads or your, I'm sorry, your, your hamstrings. You're not working out your calves. You're hitting the, the quad part You're with leg extensions, right? Go do those. Don't wait 20 minutes. And then let's say you go to do leg, leg curls, leg curls. Go do those. Don't wait more than five minutes after you're done with the curls. The idea is the intensity of and the, the amount of time spent. You've got to narrow the time down between each rep. I mean, each, each set, I'm sorry. And making sure that you're, you're timing in between there. That has been one of the biggest changes when it comes to progressive overload that you should make if you're not doing it now. That you can to where you don't have to do six, seven, eight sets. I do, I get to six or seven and sometimes, for instance, I'm going to take the squat for instance. Let's say I get to week eight and I'm at five sets, one minute between each each set. You're, you're putting some work in. You're, you're exhausting that muscle. So what I do, and I got heat for this by staying at the gym for an extra 20 minutes for an hour and a half, woo, right? But my point is I, I, I take the squat for instance. Take the straight bar, just the bar, 45 pounds, right? 35, 45 pounds, boom, on my back. And I air squat with that. No edit weight, but the bar. And I go to 25 reps. I go to 20, I go to failure. And I my goal is to get to 50 before I leave. So if I only do, let's say 12 on that one because I'm burnt, nope, I wait. How long do I wait between each each of those, challenge, that challenge there? That's the, I wait maybe 30 seconds, jump right back in, do 10, 12, 15 more. Boom, done. Okay. My goal, because there are weeks where I only do legs once, and there are, will be weeks where I do them twice. But if I'm doing them once, I add that sixth set. And i making sure that I'm maximizing. Not only have I progressively moved the weight up, but progressively increased maybe the reps to let's say, you know, cause I'm lifting heavier. The goal is to get to heavier to where my, my goal is like on that week, let's say week six, I'm at, let's say four to seven reps for that five sets. But my sixth and seventh set are burnout sets. That 50 reps on that air, on the air squat. I go and do, and do this, and this, this will blow your mind. Possibly on the leg extension day, how I got my legs to be in my knees, just to be strong, is by taking at the end of that work leg, that leg workout, I'll go back to the leg extension machine and I'll take, I'll start off the stack, let's say at 100 pounds, or I'm just going to use that as a number. And I'll do, I'll push seven, seven reps. Then I stop. I take, I go down one plate, down one plate. Let's say that's 85, 10 more. And just lower the plates until I do that five times. I'm walking out of that gym and about, I'm telling you about a half an hour later, I am, I, I feel like I, my legs, not only have so much blood pumped in them, but the, the recovery and just that workout. I know that I'm talking a lot about it right now. But it's, it, it really is, ladies and gentlemen, about building and progressive overload. So if you need help with any kind of progressive overload workout, because that's what it's about. That's what my program has always been about. Now, I'm not, mar I'm not promoting that right now. But my, part, my point is, is you can build muscle at any age. And it really is about progressive overload. I'm 51, like I said. I plan on doing this 55. 60 willingly okay and thank goodness
that with the ability to be able to do that and, and help other folks get on board with that. So I don't care if you're 65, I don't care. <laughs> you can put on some muscle. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Comments, let me know what your thoughts are and watch this video here and hit that button, that subscribe, that I think it's there. But I appreciate you, I'll talk to you soon. This is not funny, I'm very upset.